Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming my monthly makeup basket for August. I have a ton of fun stuff I'm excited to share with you. And last month I showed you products for three different routines and I appreciate your feedback on the way that you would prefer me to show it, which would be like, instead of, you know, going primer, foundation, whatever, showing you these are all the things for work from home, office, and then filming. So that is what I'm going to do. For the most part, I'm still kind of unsure where to put the things that I'll be wearing for all routines. So, you know, share your feedback. Although, I don't know the start date, but I should be getting a new job like a month from now. So then this might change. So it might be September that we do a shop my stash instead of a makeup basket, but we'll see what is to come. But first I'm gonna talk about the nail polishes I wore this month. I may have forgotten one, but I don't think so. And these were very fun. So first would be this Unicorn Duo from Nails Inc. You can get these from Sephora, $15 for the Duo, which is an amazing deal. So this color here is Rainbow Wishes and this is Dream Dust. They're both so beautiful, really, really nice formula. Definitely recommend this. And then what I'm wearing today, I showed you guys that I got this as a free gift in my Ulta 4000 points haul, which I will link for you. This is from the OPI Nature Strong Collection, which is supposed to be natural-ish nail polish. And the name of this is so cute. It is Cactus What You Preach. This is two coats, but in just one coat, it was very opaque. And this is like a pastel neon type of shade. So I was so impressed by that. So depending on how this wears, which of course I have a top coat and base coat, I might want to pick up some more from this line, but beautiful shade and I definitely chose the correct free gift. So like I said, I think those are the three polishes that I wore this month. So now let's get into these different routines and I'm just going to show you work from home slash office as the same and then filming as a separate routine and i am not going to be showing everything because i do have a project pan update coming soon and i'm going to be introducing some new things and i don't want to spoil that here except for a few things you will see spoiled so for primer spray setting spray and primers it's going to be the same so i'm going to show you guys that in a little bit but i'm just showing you the things i'm going to be using that are different and this again is either working from home or office makeup. So for foundation, I have three products that I'm gonna be rotating between. This is the one that I planned to use when I was working from home. And this is the Cali Ray Free Dreaming Skin Tint. I have the shade number two. But then from my friend Jean, I did just get this and I really wanted to try this as well. And I'm sure that I will use this on work from home days and on filming days, but because it is also a skin tint, I figured why not battle these out. So this is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator in the shade Fair. And then when I'm going into the office, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. This is in the color 105. However, it is a little bit light for me. So you either have to go in with a lot of bronzer or use a little bit of this over a skin tint. I did use this a couple days over the Rare Beauty skin tint and I really packed it on and I looked like a ghost. So I need to be careful with it. So I might end up using this in combination or a lot of bronzer, like I said. So we'll see, but I am liking this so far. Not as much as the L'Oreal powder foundation. That one's still my favorite, but this is good. And then I also have my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Transparent in here, which I like to just hit my T-zone with and around my nose because I wanna try locking my makeup as best as I can. I do still have to wear a mask at work, which does affect the way it wears. And then for bronzer, I have two that I'm gonna rotate between. The first is the Cover FX Bronzing Duo, and this is Sunkissed Bronze. It's the lighter one, but this is a pretty dark color, which is why I reserve this for summer. And then my friend Jean gave this to me. I've been using it the past couple of days and really liking it, so I figure why not wear it a little bit more. This is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer, and this is in the color Sunrise l1 i believe this is the lightest shade and it is like a subtle luminosity but it's a different color it's really nice 
Then for highlighter, this one I might want to use just a few more times, but I really just wanted to share it with you. The Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in Sin. Look, I hit pan. I have not hit pan on a product in such a long time, except for like a powder foundation or a primer setting shade. What an accomplishment. I'm so proud of myself. So I think I want to use this for a few more days because this product right here is very thin. So I would love to expand the pan a little bit more. So maybe like another week or so, and then I'll put it down. But I'm so proud of myself. I just had to share that with you. That's so exciting. But then I do want to rotate between these two highlighters. And let me be careful. You never know with Becca highlights, they often fall out of the pan. This is a little mini of Champagne Pop. A beautiful color, but again, something I can usually only wear in the summertime, along with this beauty, Anastasia Ombrezy. This is the only gold highlight that works for me, and that's because it does have like a lighter flash to it. Really, really nice. One of the only big gelée type of products I enjoy. And then I only have two more products that I'm gonna be specifically using for office or work from home makeup and that would be the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Original which is just translucent and my Benefit Gimme Brow Gel in the shade either one or two. I think I'm gonna have maybe one month left in this. It's getting a little bit drier. I'm not gonna take the stopper out. I've done that with brow gels as you'll see and it's just too messy. So very happy with this assortment of products. Some good classics, some things I want to get more use out of, and then some things that I just want to try more. Then for filming makeup, for foundation, I want to test this one out. My friend Jean gifted this to me as well. The Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the shade number one, neutral. But I also want to use my Project Pan combination, which I'm wearing today, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and 100 True Alabaster mixed with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. Also on filming days, I'm going to be using under my eyes the Sigma Color Correcting Duo in Light to Medium. So with my Project Pan Foundation, I will be using underneath of it the Persona Bronzer Stick in the shade Dune. And then... With the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm going to be testing out a new product, and this is the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer in the shade number one. Hoping that I really enjoy this formula and color. And then over top of my Project Pan Foundation, maybe the Charlotte as well, we'll see. I will be using the Iconic London Sheer Bronze in the shade Caramel Glow. For powder bronzer, I'm going to be using something from my Ulta 4000 points haul, and that would be the Jaclyn Cosmetics Pressed Bronzer in Vitamin D. So I want to use this on its own and then layered with, you know, the NARS Cream Bronzer to see what I really think of it. Then for highlighter, I want to be kind of rotating between the two of these new ones. And this is the M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlight in the lightest shade Clarity, which is still a little bit dark to be the lightest color. And then the other highlight would be this Jaclyn Cosmetics Reflective Light Putty Highlight in the shade Iced. Then for eye primer, I'm going to be using the Anastasia because it is tinted. And then Brow Gel is still the Merit Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. I did take the stopper out of this one, but I am, I am nearing the end. So I'm hoping a month more for this one as well. So those are the differences in the products I'm going to be using for complexion, primer, and brows from work from office and home makeup and then filming makeup. And now I'm gonna show you the base products that I'm gonna be using in all routines. I'm sorry if this is still bumbly, I still can't quite figure out how I want to show the product, so please leave me your feedback down below. But for primer spray, I have just a little bit left of my MAC Fix Plus. Then I have two mini primers that I'm using the both of them, just kind of whatever I feel like, and these will both be rolling into my project pan, just a little spoiler. So I'm about halfway done with this one already. This is the Say Beauty glowy super gel in the shade star glow and then i also have the smashbox photo finish control a mattifying primer then for concealer i just took this out of my year-long project pan but when i was using it today i didn't feel like the wand was as coated so i scraped the sides and 
the scrape stayed in place. That's very exciting. So maybe I can finish this by the end of the year. I think I will commit to this for the rest of the year. Let's let's hope so, guys. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my shade is 12 and Fair Neutral. Perfect color for me for under my eyes. Then I have been having more acne this month, so I want to use this because I have it and it works perfectly. The Estee Lauder a Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer in 1N Light Neutral. Then for powder, I am going to be using this to set my under eyes when I'm using my powder foundation, but for any liquid type foundation, I will be setting it with the Dermablend Translucent Loose Powder. I only have a little bit left, so this will be done in the next month, month and a half. And then luckily Jean gave me her, so I do have a backup. And then setting spray, I'm just using this little mini that is gonna be in my project pan as well, of the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then this is the first thing that I am applying when I'm putting on my makeup. This is in my project pan as well. This is the Buxom Plump Shot Collagen Infused Lip Serum, just the original clear one. I just took the stopper out this morning and I jacked my hand up. I stabbed myself with the tweezers a couple of times. I took a break, I came back to it and I got that hoe out of there. So very happy about that. But I've been loving using this as like my first step in my makeup routine. And I am actually not gonna be working on any cream blushes this month. So I'm just gonna be using a bunch of different powder blushes. I'm sure I will use more than what I'm featuring here, but these are the ones that I want to prioritize because these are, again, new to me. So I've gotten so many benefit blushes. I haven't tried any of them yet. So I wanna try these three, I have six. These are the ones I got during my Ulta haul. So this one is Shelly. I feel like I'm gonna like this one the best. This one is Sunny. And this bright one is Krista. Then I have both of the new M Cosmetics Cherub blushes. The first one is called Cherub, which is the pink one. And then we have the orangey one, Persimmon. And I have these that I just added into my chopping block, and I think I did. And I want to be seeing if I need these and those M Cosmetics blushes. And these are some from Kathleen Lights. They're not exactly the same shades, especially this one is different, but similar enough. So this is my Sun and Stars and so retrograde. So we'll see what I think there, but I'm as much as I've enjoyed using cream blush, I definitely prefer powder. So I'm excited to use more. Hey guys, I wanted to pop back in to share a change of plans. So the powder blushes I just showed you, I'm just going to wear those for filming. And then I wanted to pick out some other things for work. And these are not new. I've had them for a while, but they are some summer favorites. And I want to make sure I get some use out of them. And the two on the left are the Becca Luminous Blushes. The small one is Camellia, full size is Snapdragon. Then I have the Buxom Wanderlust Blush in Mykonos and the Huda Beauty Glowish in Caring Coral. And then this is something I meant to add in with my filming makeup. This is the Sigma Cinderella Cheek Duo. So we have this beautiful highlight and a really pretty blush. I've already worn this once. Not as intense as it looks here, but so beautiful. Then for brows, aside from brow gel, I will be using these every day. First step, NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. Then I'm on my very last, unfortunately, benefit precisely my brow. I have the shade number one. I really hope this will be in 21 Days of Beauty so I can get a few of them. And then I did just open this up to use. I am not liking it. I feel like I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly, but we'll see. This is the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen in Blonde. I just can't get it to work for me. Definitely get the NYX Lift and Snatch over this. And then I did just finish up my previous one and I opened a new one of the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And this one is in number one. So I originally planned on using the micro filling pen instead of this Goof Proof. And that's what I did today. I will be doing that sometimes, but if this is giving me a hard time, I will be using this. So that's why I'm just showing you all of them. And then for eye base, you guys will be so proud of me. So you know I've been steadily working on my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Sunrise. And again, this is a year long project pan spoiler. I scooped out all the product, which I said I wasn't going to do. And this is all I have left. K 
can you believe it this is all i have left of that so this should be done this month and if i finish early i will move on to the other shadow stick for my year-long project that i think will be great in the fall as well and this is a little mini laura mercier metallic taupe so we'll see if i get to this but i think that i might if i stay wearing makeup every day which i've been really good at and my primer setting shades so in here is actually my little Illamasqua matte powder in Intrigue. I just repressed it into this pan. It didn't repress very well for some reason. And then I've almost completely used it up. It's crumbling here. I need to repress it. This is Wet n Wild Brulee using to set the primer in my crease. I'm very disappointed with this new formula. It's insanely powdery. So then for eyeshadow, I don't have a ton here. And that is because I'm going to be rolling in a palette into my project, which I will be using for office and work from home. So these are the palettes that I'm mostly going to be using for filming. And this first one I've not used at all yet, Natasha Denona Sunrise. And I'm definitely trying to use all my Natasha Denona palettes this year. And then shamefully I've had this for a year and haven't used it yet either. This is the Michaela Glam Light One palette. I'm not gonna get her part two because I just won't use all those colorful shades, so. We'll see the looks I create with this. I would love your color combos down below. And then for mascara, this is gonna be the last month I use this combo and then I'll pick out two new mascaras for September. So first we have the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara, which is my favorite of all time. And then I'm going over the top of that with the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water. For lips, I picked out several products. I should have no problem using all of these, but I, of course, want to prioritize the things that are new to me so I can review them. And this I have had since Black Friday and just haven't used because of the shade. This is the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Angel. Looks like a really pretty bright pinky color. Then this was a limited edition Buxom Flawn Lip Cream. This is a Melon Mimosa. And then I have one of the new Buxom Lip Creams that is in their fall collection. And this is Peppermint Hot Cocoa. So you can definitely see a huge shade difference here, but I think this will be nice with a more intense eye. And then of course, I also want to try out the two shades I just got of the Jaclyn Lip Oils. And I have the shade Petal Drip and Maple Drip. I hope you guys are excited for this month's monthly makeup roundup because I have a lot of fun things to test and review for you guys. I would love to know what makeup you all wore this month. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.